welcome to another edition of Vlogmas. I thought today we could just do a bit of a like chilled out vlog because I'm really tired. <laughs> I can't lie to you guys, like I am just a little bit tired and I've had, you know, just one of those days where you're really, really tired and so everything just gets to you in ways that it wouldn't normally do, you know, when you're just like a little bit emotionally fragile. And I finished work <laughs> and I was so tired, but I managed to put a full face of makeup on. I was gonna sit down in front of my tree and do a proper like set up video for you. And then I was just like to Adam, I was like, I'm just tired. <laughs> and I don't want you guys to think that, how do I put this? I want you guys to know that it's like, everyone has ups and downs. And today I'm fine, genuinely fine, but it's just been a bit of a, just a bit of a down day. Like genuinely nothing's happened, nothing to be concerned about, but I'm just tired. I'm ready for a Christmas break, finished work, wasn't in the best mood and I was like why am I gonna sit down and fake it like I really want to be honest with you guys about the good and the bad and the thought of sitting down in front of the tree and putting a smile on and just pretending that I was full of energy when actually I'm really tired Um, it just didn't feel right so I thought instead why don't I take you along with the things that I'm gonna do this evening anyway <laughs> so I have just made myself a decaf cup of tea because I am really sensitive to caffeine like well I'm not sensitive to caffeine in the way that it gives me loads of energy but I'm a really bad sleeper <laughs> which is a problem I'm having at the moment like I'm going for a bad sleep spout and if I have caffeine after three like I'm done <laughs> I'm not sleeping for the night so I've got myself a decaf cup of tea and I've got myself some mince pies. I haven't had a mince pie this year. They aren't my favourite thing but I enjoy them and it feels wrong to have not had a mince pie. So I've got, doing a little Asda haul, <laughs> I've got the six luxury mince pies from the extra special edition. So I'm gonna have a mince pie, I'm gonna have a cup of tea and then we thought we could cook some dinner together. Feels, it's, it's probably wrong having a mince pie before I cook dinner but I like to eat my feelings. So <laughs> this is what's gonna make me happy. So I'm doing it. <laughs> Should I do the like showing you the mince pie thing? So this is the Asda mince pie. <laughs> it looks good. It's got a good level of pastry on it. Bit of icing sugar. <laughs> so I'm gonna have my cup of tea and my mince pie and then we'll do some cooking. Since we're doing a little <laughs> fake Asda haul and I'm waiting for my cup of tea to cool down because I am so ridiculous when it comes to hot drinks. I have to wait until it's like lukewarm before I can drink it. Like Adam's like, your tea's going cold. And I'm like, it's too hot. <laughs> I thought I would show you what I'm giving my gran for Christmas. So gran, if you're watching, stop watching. <laughs> and if some of you somehow magically know my gran, which is very unlikely, but if by some kind of miracle, cause stranger things happen, don't tell my gran. <laughs> so, I wanted to get my gran and her partner a food hamper, but it turns out if you try and buy a food hamper a week and a half before Christmas, it's really difficult. <laughs> and then I thought, I've got a basket here at home that I could just repurpose. This was given to me when I joined the Glossy Circle with Glossy Box. If you don't know, I am a Glossy Box ambassador. They sent me a hamper in this lovely basket. So I thought, let's re-gift. And let's make our own hamper. So I thought I'd show you what I've got for the hamper in case you're stuck for present ideas because it all came from Asda, so easy to do. And much, much more affordable than like a proper hamper is the amount of stuff that I've got for this hamper. You'd have paid like double to get it in an actual hamper, if that makes sense. So the first thing I've got is this little bargain. It's a cheese board that actually comes with a cheese board. <laughs> so we've got some red Leicester, some mature cheddar, my favourite, Wensleydale and Cranberry. Mm. Some red Leicester and black pepper and some Wensleydale and apricot, also amazing. Guess how much this was? Guess in the comments. <laughs> five pounds, five pounds, you know? Can't complain. Then to go with the cheeses, got some chutney. We've got some caramel onion chutney and some fig, date and balsamic chutney. Sounds fancy. Just gonna put the cheese in the fridge. <laughs> then, Obviously, had to get some crackers. Got the extra special biscuits for cheese crackers. Six varieties, can't go wrong. 
guys, just go along with it. I'm in a weird mood today. <laughs> um, then they got their own mince pies, luxury mince pies. Got a big box of biscuits. The classic Victoria biscuits. You get, I don't know, a lot of biscuits. <laughs> everyone's had these biscuits. <laughs> if you live in the UK anyway, everyone's had these biscuits. This is the thing that's hurting me to give. We got a giant box of lint chocolate. This is the lint selection. This looks amazing, but actually, it, I'll tell you in a minute, it feels easier giving this away um, because I've got some amazing chocolate. I'll show you in a sec. Then my gran loves fruitcake. I did get like a proper fruitcake, but it was um, substituted for this one with icing. So I guess you can just take the icing off if she doesn't like it. But it's happening a lot at the moment. I think, <laughs> understandably, we're getting a lot of substitutions and this is not the worst substitution. It's still a nice fruitcake, so she'll enjoy that. Bottle of wine. I got the, oh no, Campo Vig, Vig, this one. <laughs> it is a Rioja, Rioja. Um, thought that would be nice. So I obviously need to sort out my presentation, but like, oh no. Don't tell Adam. Don't tell Adam I knocked the wine over. I think it's okay. Oh, that was close. <laughs> yes, I was saying I need to sort out my presentation, but I think that's a really nice present. So you know, I was just saying, I'm okay giving those chocolates away because I've got some amazing chocolates in my life. Look at this <laughs> giant box of chocolates. This is from Hotel Chocolate, it's the Reef Box. Now, technically this is Adam's, but he loves me so he's gonna share. Adam's lovely work colleagues got him this for Christmas to say thank you for his hard work this year. But more importantly, and I've asked Adam if I can share with you because I'm so proud. He has just finished his master's degree and he got a distinction. <laughs> So I'm really, really proud. He's worked so hard. He works full time. He also has um, a company on the side and he has been doing his masters alongside all that. And he managed to get a distinction and I'm so proud of him. Um, and I just wanted to share that with you guys because if you could wish him, con wish him congratulations. If you could give him some love in the comments, I'd really appreciate it because he's honestly worked so, so hard. But let me show you these chocolates. You've never seen anything like it. Look at this box of chocolates. Like they're all falling out. Look at this box of chocolates. Is that not beautiful? Absolutely amazing. You've got to love Hotel Chocolat. <laughs> Adam does enjoy chocolate, but he isn't like me. He isn't like head over heels. He'll have one here and there. So there's a couple in here that he'll really enjoy, but he doesn't like the like, you know, the ones were filled with like various fillings. <laughs> so I'll get to enjoy those. So we are both gonna really have some have some fun with this box of chocolates look at it it's huge like <laughs> right let's test this mince pie we did <laughs> a couple of years ago at one of my old jobs we were obsessed with mince pies in the office and we had an old whiteboard <laughs> so we um did like a mince pie off and like every couple of days someone brought a different like kind of mince pie in from a different shop and we ate them and we rated them and we picked our mince pie of the year. So I feel well, well, relatively well set up to tell you what I think of this mince pie. Mm. Pastry, let me have a, cup, uh, a bit of my cup of tea and then I'll tell you my thoughts. I've probably got lipstick everywhere. This is nice. I'm not the biggest pastry fan, but it doesn't feel like too much pastry. I like the level of ice and sugar, really important. And it's a good level of filling, nice and sweet and yummy. I'd say this is definitely up there with the mince pies that are up there. <laughs> so I'm gonna take you along whilst I cook dinner and we'll see if it's any more <laughs> of a success than my baking video was. Like, I'm glad you guys enjoyed that so much because it was a disaster. But I've been struggling when it comes to cooking recently because I think because I'm doing a lot at the moment, which is why I'm tired and it's all great. I am having the best time doing Vlogmas, but I don't think I fully anticipated how exhausting it would be to post every day. And I don't regret it because I'm honestly having the best time, but I would maybe do it a little bit differently next time, be a bit more prepared in advance. So I wasn't like sometimes filming, editing and posting in one night as I am 
tonight so who knows what time this video will go up but it'll go up today <laughs> um so that along with work and along with just what life is at the moment for everyone i've been really struggling to cook <laughs> i've been struggling to find inspiration for new um, recipes and ideas and it just gets to the evening and i'm like oh do i have to <laughs> um by the way adam does the washing of the dishes i do the cooking I hate washing dishes, he hates cooking, works perfectly for us both. I would much rather cook, even when I can't be bothered cooking, than clean in the kitchen, which Adam is much better at than me, because I hate cleaning. <laughs> um, so we decided to try out HelloFresh. And we are, this is our fourth day of the first box, we went for the five day box. And so far, so good. I bought this with my own money, it's not sponsored, I'm not working with them, although HelloFresh, hit me up. <laughs> Um, but today we are having the fragrant curry with zesty rice, apparently going to look like this. <laughs> um, so I thought you might want to watch me cook. I enjoy watching these parts of people's vlogs, so anyway. <laughs> um, so yeah, I am going to make this, it looks really yummy. So it's got like um, courgette, parsley, parsley? Yeah, parsley. That sounds like, that sounds, sounds strange. Uh, lime, Zanzibar, curry, spice, some shallots and garlic. So yeah, let's do some cooking. Finish my mince pie whilst I cook. <laughs> oh, you've got to do the things that make you happy. to put it's only me and Adam eating it it says to put a whole courgette in I don't think I'm on board with a whole courgette I think we'll just go for half and maybe use this for something else chicken off for a split second so I can talk to you. I'm not gonna lie, I am terrified of making rice. Let me be very careful not to lean on the cooker here. Um, I buy microwave rice because I just don't know what I'm doing but this has told me exactly how much water to put in with it and exactly what to do so I'm gonna give it a go and see if I can learn to make rice. It can't be that hard. How is it that hard? Well <laughs> wish me luck. I think I messed up already. It says bring water to the boil when the rice is in there and I put boiling water in, so this is going well. Lazy garlic, because you know, who has time for proper garlic? my courgette and whilst that cooks I reckon I've got about 10 minutes of cooking left and then we'll finish the vlog and I'll go eat. I just want to talk to you a bit more about like mental health because 2020 guys, <laughs> 2020 like there's a lot to be thankful for for me personally in 2020 and I'm thinking of doing a video um, where I talk about all the things I'm thankful for and everything I'm looking forward to next year so you'll have to let me know if you want to see that because I, th I think it would be really nice to do. But 2020 has still been <laughs> really tough um, for, a, for a lot of us. And 
some of us have probably had more heartache than I can imagine. I have touch wood been really really lucky in that no one I know has had COVID and I hope that that's how it stays and I really hope that all your loved ones are safe and well but for some people they've had horrible tragedy, some people have lost everything, I myself was about to be made redundant and I'm so incredibly lucky that I not only found a new job but found a good new job um, which is amazing but it's still all these things considered <laughs> It's been a really really tough year like we um have been shielding the whole time because adam's high risk with his health so we've not really been out and done much at all this year and like i think i think it's just probably getting to me a little bit like vlogmas is amazing i really am loving it but i'm mm, it drained i'm exhausted and i'm drained and i'm gonna make sure to have at least three consecutive days off over christmas where i don't work or do YouTube, like, <laughs> I might have a pre-recorded video to go up, but I'm gonna have a proper, proper break, which is really good, and something that I haven't really done most of this year, I don't think, like, I was furloughed, but when I was furloughed, I was filming all the time, and being furloughed was emotionally draining anyway, because I was like, I'm gonna lose my job, I'm gonna be unemployed, so whilst I wasn't working my nine to five, I was mentally exhausted because <laughs> of the fear, like I knew I was about to be made redundant so I was looking for a job at the worst time because there were so many people in difficult situations and I'm not complaining because I got a job and I'm really really grateful but that wasn't really a break and then <laughs> it's just been so busy doing things that I love but I haven't given myself a break so I'm going to make sure I have at least three days off over Christmas where I do nothing. Nothing but eat watch Christmas films, live in my pyjamas. In fact, I'm not gonna lie, can I show you? I've got my pyjama bottoms on. <laughs> Imagine if I decked it then. <laughs> so I'm gonna have a break and I'm trying to be more honest and open with you guys. I don't wanna be, I've said this before, um, I don't wanna just be a, a channel where I try and close. I wanna let you into my life. I wanna let you see the truth. I want you to know that it's normal to have ups and downs and it's okay not to be okay. And on the point of mentioning <laughs> that I've recently said that I don't want to be just a fashion channel, I want to thank you guys so much from the bottom of my heart to the res for the response that I had to my tidying up video <laughs> um, where we had a bit of a heart to heart about what I wanted from this channel and it's basically more of this. If you haven't watched that video, you should because at the end there's hilarity like <laughs> at the end of that video it, it all goes a little bit wrong in the funniest way and I caught it on camera and I think you'll enjoy it <laughs> so I'll leave that link down below but I really want to say thank you so much because the amount of <laughs> shouldn't talk about these things on a day where I'm like emotional anyway <laughs> the amount of nice unbelievably kind comments that I got from you guys, so supportive of what I wanted to do with my channel, so supportive of the direction I want to take, and so supportive of getting to know me more and wanting me more than, more than just trying on clothes but letting you into my life. The amount of just amazingly kind comments that I got, like, is spurring me on, has <laughs> spurred me on in a weird way when I'm in a bit of a low place to come on camera and talk to you about it when otherwise I might have just put on a brave face and just showed you some makeup or something <laughs> which I still will do I will still be doing my hauls I'll still be doing my makeup videos I'll still be doing my subscription videos but there's just going to be a bit more life in between like next year when it's safe <laughs> hopefully soon I definitely want to do more vlogging like I really enjoy vlogging and I feel like you guys enjoy it too so I want to do more vlogging for sure but yeah a bit rambly bit all over the place but the point is thank you so so much to everyone who commented on that video it honestly meant so much to me when I was really quite scared to post that video like, I'm not gonna lie I was expecting a lot more negativity but you guys came through for me like more than I could have ever like hoped for okay so I think this is pretty much finished so I'm gonna serve it up I'll show you what it looks like at the end give you a bit of taste test then I'm gonna sign off this vlog because I need to edit, I need to eat, most importantly, then edit and get this video on up, uh, on, up, up online. <laughs> um, it is gonna be up quite late tonight, I'm sorry about that. I'll be, I'll be back to it tomorrow, so let me, let me get to serving. So, 
This is what it looks like in the picture. And this is what we've got. I think that looks pretty, pretty good. Let me give it a little taste test for you before I call Adam in. Give it a little, a little test. Mmm. Oh my goodness. Mmm. Super yummy. It's so creamy and coconutty and gorgeous. Right, I'm gonna sign off this video. Thank you so much for watching and for bearing with me whilst I've been a little bit of a mess tonight. A good night's sleep and I'll be all good and I'll see you tonight. Not tonight. <laughs> I'll see you tomorrow night. I love you all so much, thank you. Bye. Little extra clip at the end to let you know what Adam thinks of the curry. I think this is probably the best curry I've ever made. Well, that is good because we've had some disastrous curries. Some I awful curries. <laughs> I'm not the best cook and I did try and make a homemade recipe curry from scratch one time and it went in the bin and we bought a takeaway curry. So cooking doesn't always have to be successful. We can be a failure sometimes and order a takeaway. See you tomorrow. Bye.